Mm. Mm -mm. Let's get some Irish potato. guys welcome back welcome back to the channel so as you can see i took about a week off a little bit more than that i was in jamaica on vacation uh not much happened i went and saw some family and everything and we just enjoyed company with each other so today we're going to go back to our humble beginnings and we're going to make some boiled dumpling and some nice jamaican tin mackerel all right so right here we have a whole week for a well needed and everything and then we just go and add it into the pot with some salt water and then we are cook up with mackerel with enough onion garlic pepper and everything and we'll make it nice all right so guys today i'm going for the apron because i didn't want to get flour all over myself so our flour is nicely kneaded and we're not making too much flour today so we're going to break this into six even parts all right all right so once we have our flour we're gonna kind of flatten it out like this, and I'm gonna show you a nice technique how to make neat flour. So it's flattened out like that. Then you kind of fold, move your hand. So as you can see, we're just kind of getting the formation into a nice circular movement. So as you can see, we're just folding in all the edges to make like a nice circle. And then once we've done that, then I'm gonna show you what it should look like. <laughs> the hand movement in that is very weird, as you can see. <laughs> All right, so look, we have our neat flour like that. Once we have that, we use the back of our hand and we kind of flatten it a little bit. So we have a perfect, nice circular, and then we're gonna drop this in our salted water. So we have our two tablespoons of oil heated, and we're gonna stir in all our seasonings. And we're gonna saute them until they're translucent and then we're gonna add them. So this has always been a battle. Everybody like their own mackerel. I personally like this Lasco Jack mackerel and tomato sauce, a flat one. And then right here we have some onion, scallion, thyme, garlic, and some red pepper flakes that we're gonna saute in about two tablespoons of oil because I like mine with a little extra oil. And then um, we're gonna cook this up nicely and this is they have so many names for this mackerel flash out um all different names so we're gonna make this delicious simple and we're gonna go back to our roots normally if you ain't got no money in jamaica this is what you cook this is it so this is very humbling and right now we're just gonna cook this up and we're gonna have a mukbang and i'm gonna share my experience that i had in jamaica and we're gonna add our dumplings to our salted boiling water and just be careful not to splash yourself. And once you've done that, you want them to kind of set up a little bit in the boiling water before you turn them. And you want to be very careful because I'll share a secret with you. My mom, um, if the dumplings are not neat, she, will, she won't eat them. Myself, I like, ah, uh, what's that flying around in my pot? I guess these dumplings are so good. We got something flying around in the pot. Um, get the hell out. <laughs> Oh my guys, you know, so anything can happen when you have the lid off the pot, but you know, it's gonna boil. So nothing is You can is see our vegetables are nicely um, translucent. It's always a struggle to shape this mackerel. <laughs> all right, so our mackerel is all in. You see, we get two nice little steaks. We're gonna break this in about each piece in about six pieces, six to eight pieces. We don't want it to be too flaked, but we want to add, just break it down just a little bit. Oh my, this mackerel is gonna be so delicious. I'm just gonna stir this up. We're gonna rinse out our tin just a little bit, and then we're gonna add that in. With a little bit of water and then we're gonna finish it off with some just black added pepper. my black pepper in i like a lot of black pepper and i like it to be nice and spicy so as you can see our mackerel looks really good 
I mean, the Americans are a lot of people from around the world who are not accustomed to tin mackerel. They're gonna be like, oh my goodness, that's so fishy. That's not delicious. But let me tell you something. Being from Jamaica, oh my goodness. This is what you call deliciousness. Quick um, midweek dinner. I mean, if you even feel for it on a Sunday, why not? Oh my, I can't wait to have this. Uh, you know, I just have to feel for mackerel and dumpling to eat it. But today I was like, you know what? Let's show all the subscribers what we as Jamaicans eat when we, you know, probably not at the best financial state or we just feel like we want to go back to eating some of the good old Jamaican food. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded, but today, 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 we are gonna be eating some, you know, real Jamaican food. Tin mackerel, boiled dumpling, and Irish potato. Um, so typically you use a fork for this, right? But you know, the Craven people have to use the spoon. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna dig in right now. First, we're gonna start off with a little bit of our mackerel. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get some Irish potato. Mm. 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 Oh wow. May I tell you to say a long time and I eat this enough. Mm. Dumpling. Get some of the gravy and everything. Mm. Wow. The only problem with eating dumplings is that you have to chew it for too long. But, I mean, delicious. So as you heard in the beginning of the video, I was in Jamaica. Um, it was a great time because I get to spend time with the family and everything like that. But guess what? I have to share experience that I had with you. <laughs> so meanwhile, I was in Jamaica, right? I went to this... Um, souvenir store to buy some souvenir and um, mind you um some indians own it because in jamaica a lot of indians and um chinese own a lot of business places in jamaica so while i was there i went in there to buy a few stuff right so typically now that i live in america and you travel these indians want to treat you differently right when I say treat you differently, I mean, they want to um, overcharge you because they're like, oh, now he's a foreigner, so he need to pay a foreign price. So, I've learned that from growing up in Jamaica. So, I was there beside some other tourists. So, I was there talking to him. So, I was like, how much is three of these shirts? Well, if I'd ask him that way, I will get the foreign price. <laughs> so, I was like, how much for three of them shirts? They aim at $1,200. So, I said, $1,200? All right, then. So, let me say to him, I said, how much for one? He said, $500. Because three might try to sell the other tours. The shirt for $500. He said, $500. So, after I finish pick up, when I pick up, and go up to the counter. Mr. said to him, so much for them here. He said, oh, I give him for three fifty dollars each. So earlier it was almost $400 a piece. Now it's three fifty. dollars And then he explained to me that he couldn't tell me that was the price in front of the other people, which I already knew that. So that's just a hack. Going to Jamaica as a tourist, get a local for buy your stuff. Then I understand. Well, back to this mackerel and dumping. Guys, I'm telling you, mackerel and dumplings is absolutely the best thing ever. Mm. Me know a lot of people don't like mackerel. They say poor people food, but guess what? 
I used to be poor. I ain't rich now, but I'm still eating mackerel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want some, come here, man. Mm. So, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your family and friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.